You stay out here for a little bit, dog. You know, what's going on today, folks? That little dog. I got the keys for that. I need to move it. I'm going to move the Cadillac, though, real quick. And then I'm going to possibly plop around in the blue truck because it's the first decent day. I had some flies or something. You know, first decent day in a while since I did that door panel where it's actually somewhat sunny and um, warm out. It's supposed to be like high of 55. You see all that moisture and water? that's up on there um the same probably problem with this cab later if i was to want to do anything with it versus you know i i i kindly did um some of this already this panel right here with uh some of the that cleaner uh, obviously you can see the dirt and stuff on there but look how nice that just cleans off right there no big deal and i'm probably going to remove that today but yeah you can see how nice that just comes right off there that all needs come off and you can you can see that you can't see that um chad keegan youtube anymore it's a little bit darker than what i'd like it to be because this is actually a little bit lighter so it may need some cleaner again to go over there but for the most part i did i did a lot of this stuff the other day but it was so cold and i didn't shoot any of it um even up around down here if you get in close enough, you can see the difference right there from this and that, just from that stuff. But I really didn't put a ton on, and this actually has some stuff still stuck on there. The only issue was, was I was catching some spots where there was water, and um, it would it would harden up the certain spots. So like right here, you can see that right there. That is where water, and then that wax would harden up. So I kind of want to do this when it's completely dry. Uh, if I needed to, I'd take the thing down the road and uh, just kind of let some air get in there to uh, get that stuff out of there. Looks like we got some spot of bird shit right here. It's always lovely. But yeah, I'd take it down the road and just kind of let some air run through that. But I would need to maybe take some spray cleaner and still wipe off some of the spots because I don't necessarily want to be getting a bunch of dirt and shit from just, you know, it sitting around on there when I would do that. So that's probably what I would do. But if not, I may, I'm going to jump in there and I'm going to possibly pull that radio, which I, I have already once, but I'm going to do it again. And I did it on camera, but then I just deleted all the videos and stuff because I didn't want anything on there. And uh, the whole truck could use a wash too. But, um, you know, it just depends. It's, it's only going to be 55 today. So I don't necessarily want to wash it when it's that cold and then deal with the stuff but whatever so yeah that's what's going on today on the show on the chat thing and youtube's channel
well, that's what we got going on down here. Uh, getting some shine on that right there. Uh, it's doing okay. Me needs some more coats. I don't know. There's still some splotchy spots from that sticker goop and whatnot. And I never went over this. I just wiped it down real quick. You can obviously see the difference here from what this is down here. It's a lot darker than what this is. You know, I did um, the bumper with some stuff because I took off, and I know I did all this off camera, I took these down, I took this guy off, and then I cleaned it up, and boy was it a pain in the butt with um, the uh, that goop that was on there from the sticker back, because man, that stuff was freaking rough. But um, I put Dawn on it, and then I put um, the, the Goo Gone on it, and I scraped it off with that actual razor blade did this side too so it's all smooth and nice and i mean i could have spent more time polishing and buffing but i didn't really care but um i need to do this side because obviously i haven't done any of this side except for like this i did with my hand um so you can see the difference there and that how light this is right here versus how dark that is it gives that that nice deep look even though this paint's old and crappy it'll still still do that so I pretty much went around and just like wiped all the um the spots down and I took off these guys too. So there's nothing on here but our handles and that's it. I'll leave those on. And then whenever the time comes, something happens to where I'm gonna work this thing. Um, I'll probably slap something right in here. Maybe, maybe just put something white, make it look old school. I don't know. We'll see what's gonna happen. But uh, I'm gonna put you back on the time lapse and I'm gonna do the front of the truck now because I pretty much wiped all the blue off. I'm just doing the blue right now. I'm not doing anything with the white because that's gonna get some other stuff done on it. Uh, and every time I cross that red line and I get into that white, I leave a little blue film. Besides, there's spots over there that I want to um, do that white with. Uh, this stuff, except, and that'll clean off the you know YouTube and whatnot and all that crap, but I'm just doing the blue right now, and yes, some of the spots, it doesn't really matter because like that red around there, I'll still do around that stuff. Like I did all this down here and whatnot the other day just with that hand drill. I like that. The battery was dead, so I used that uh, power drill, but I'd rather use that hand drill. I like it a little bit better. I could probably do this stuff again right here, and unfortunately, spots like this, where wherever it's wet, it um, seems to streak up and shit like that, so I'd have to get my towel and wipe that off, but... I'm gonna throw you over here on the time lapse and we'll do the rest here.
All right, well, we got about 10% on you, and we're going to shut it down for the day because the wife says it's time to come in. So let's go over here and check out some of this deepness over here if you can see this, the difference right in here. That stuff is nice. It fills all that in. And uh, some right here, you can see that. And then up here where there's light, and then right here, the difference. Boom, boom. So it'll probably get another coat anyways because it needs about two or three to really get in there. And I don't have as much on that brush as what I probably should to be doing this. I should be doing it every single time and stuff, but I'm not. Um, obviously, you can tell the difference right up here to right down here. So we will be back probably tomorrow. I don't know. Or the next day, I'm going to start mushroom hunting. The wife's going to take off and go up... Uh, Babysit the grandkids for a couple days, so it'll just be me and you hanging out at the house wherever we at doing what we're doing. Oh man, what's going on? It is the next day, and uh, we just got some boxes here. Mm, that grass smells good. Old Geraldine's in the back cutting that back section. Mm, I got some boxes here. I need to go in the back of the Cushman. Yeah take those out with us right now because um i got about four drinks i got two beers and two line and googles a couple shandies to um swig on mom out here it is about to check my handy dandy pocket digital computer calculator um search tool everything i don't plan on mowing it's supposed to rain tomorrow and saturday and then be cold again so i'm just going to kind of let the grass fill in and grow until for about i don't know maybe midweek next week it might be nice enough to um be able to it's 11 30 right now midweek next week it might be nice enough to where i can actually cut the grass i don't know oh, sounds like he's done maybe maybe not be rolling by here to go get up in the front but um i'm gonna basically do this other side there wasn't any bunch of moisture and stuff last night so we'll be able to do this side real quick and finish up the rest of what i need to do up here because i could i did this obviously you can tell the difference um my wife could tell the difference from the car when we were back there yesterday because we had to run and get some fuel because she is gone um so i'm gonna take advantage of this time and do the rest of this I need to get up in here and it's it's nice and soft or cool so i'm not really worried about much get up in here and then get this side real quick get up on the ladder and i thought about running to the store and just getting a hand pad and doing it like that because really all you got to do is apply this stuff and uh it soaks in a lot you know i did this all by hand wasn't too bad but i don't mind doing that drill and little pad i kind of like that because i can you know go through the sections pretty quick without if i have enough stuff on the applicator pad but then once it gets so wet like i did this and then i did the bumper too on the front which i mean you can you can tell that there's a lot more deepness into that bumper it has a lot more ref reflection because before um right in here you can see this is kind of lighter and i know it's probably hard to see but right in here there's a line right here, if you can see that, where it's darker and lighter. And the whole thing was light like this. And basically what I did was I used some a pad that I had already used on this side and that other side when I, you know, cleaned that up. And that pad had a bunch of darkness in there from all that crap coming off. And that basically made that darker. It, oddly enough, it, it put like some more color back into that to where there was more reflection because there was always some reflection off there. There just wasn't a ton, it didn't seem like. So that really helped out with that. I don't know if I talked about that yesterday or not, but yeah, I'm gonna go get, I'm gonna get the garage open and stuff and get everything out, get some tunes blown probably, and then uh, start going on this. Actually, I've got my ear pods, so probably going to throw them in that way if i time lapse it i don't have to go back and forth to radio if i just want to pick it up i can just pull one in a musical stop and that way if anybody messages or calls or anything like that i've got it right there and i don't have to stop anything and run to it so so i'm talking about today man there's a chopper somewhere 
it's about 54 degrees and um it was uh eight to ten mile per hour wind which it's supposed to calm down once it gets a little bit warmer out today yeah right up here here he comes right between the trees seem ready to plop right over us don't come back no he don't give up about me so that's what i'm talking about oh yeah i also um just do this up real quick i didn't do a ton of activity to it i just took that pad over it real quick because i had it on the thing and did this like section of the ladder i did down here but it really didn't do much you know i just figured i'd hit those spots and see if it did anything i really need to do these tanks because they got all kind of dirt stains and whatnot and i just use that stuff and do the polish on it and i just do it by hand because these i don't think these tanks will polish like to look like this because of how they are i don't know maybe they will if they would i would take it to a professional and let them do it because i obviously am not a professional buffer and um i wouldn't want to mess anything up to where they would look ugly if somebody else did it then i could say i'm not paying you and i could just blame it on them but i would hate to blame that shit on myself so let's talk more work you know what time it is all right let's get out of there before we can dig it can you dig it baby here's where we're at all the blue on this side is done and i also was doing the white man look how nice that looks yeah it looks nice not too bad i still need to touch up like around the lights and whatnot which i'll get to uh, really not too concerned with it because um i mean and i didn't shoot any of this sorry i just went to it was doing it didn't hook the gopro up anywhere or nothing like that to time lapse it or anything so it's just what it is now i'm going to need to go to the store and i'm either going to need to wet sand or i'm going to need to get some better rubbing compound that's actually gritty because i cannot get this out of there this freaking ghost stuff Groggins Plastics, Fincastle, Virginia. Now, for some odd reason, you can still see this stuff in here a little bit. But when that big ICG sticker was on, you know, um, that kind of got rid of some of that stuff. But I cannot, for God's honest, I don't know what the deal is, get any of this other stuff off. I used the hand. I did it by hand. I even got this mother's um, scratch remover. Safely, effectively eliminates unslightly surface scratches. My wife always tells me I shouldn't read on camera. That's what it is. Okay, I've had a few Miller lights. Getting out the Marleman. You know how it goes. Anywho, this compound is not taking that out. Even if I use the drill and the pad and this and that or if i even do it by hand it's not but it is making everything else shiny now used to have youtube chad keegan right here faintly you can see it but not really look at that thing almost like a mirror over here youtube chad keegan big completely gone i like that so there's nothing on here so the next time something gets put on here that's the only thing that's going to be put on here that's it there's not going to be, there might be a YouTube sticker, um, but there's not going to be my name affiliated with it or anything like that. I'll just wear the shirt if I'm ever driving it again and uh, maybe do that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? And just go from there. Everybody knows anyways, when you see this truck, it's mine because I've had enough videos it's got enough exposure from not only me but um flatbed red had a short on it on youtube instagram facebook and it's it has a ton shitload of views pardon the french you know how it goes around here but um yeah everybody knows that's my truck so it's what it is you know if somebody sees me rolling down the road and takes a picture and there ain't nothing on there somebody is going to comment and say that's chad keegan's truck one of them you know what i mean so that's what it is i need to move over to the white side here now and do that i'm not going to do anything with that top up there because i had painted that 
separately because that was blue when I first bought this truck and I've talked about that before. I taped it off, I painted it white, I did what I needed to do and then I pinstriped that red on there because I wanted a white top because it was faded and blue and kind of like how that blue is up there in that section. So I need to do the white on this side and then I'll be done with this besides like, you know, these buckets and stuff like that which I can get and or I do have some kind of like um, spray stuff that I could probably throw in there and um, you know saturate that up or I'll just use the pad with my hand and just go in there and do it real quick and then go back around and wipe it down as long as it's got somewhat of a wet look I'll be happy but this is a lot deeper than what it was the only thing I haven't done for the blue now is the back that's the only thing that has not been done so the back will still need done one of these days but what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to tip the cab up um if i get to it today i get to it today if it has to wait it's just what it is i'm not really too worried about it it's not that big of a deal but i'm going to end up tipping the cab up and i will do the whole back section in one swipe because i i don't want to sit here and mess around with behind here and this and that you know what i mean it's kind of a pain in the butt and obviously you can see in this section right here i have used some of that and you can see the difference between right in here and right in here lighter darker so when i do go over this thing i'll do it again but i i don't remember if i was using a hand just my hand or what because you can see how dark that is you know what i'm saying but all this white's going to get done next over here because all the blue was done and i'll try to at least get this stuff off um, I've used that cleaner before on this stuff and it does wonders you know and I really don't have a tendency that's the only thing I don't like about this kind of white there's no clear coat coat on this truck obviously this is an old ass freaking paint job and um, I believe they did that in the 90s because what happened was they used to use this truck they took it off the road in the mid 90s and they used to use this truck to pull the owner of the factory and company Grogan's Plastics race car around in his race trailer so this truck pulled a race trailer around and I've talked about that before but I haven't talked that about it for a while for some of you guys who are new you don't know the history of this truck um, I got a complete breakdown when I bought this truck I uh, paid $7,500 cash for it I put a ton of money into it a ton of work a ton of uh, elbow grease and in just time and blood sweat and beers um, you know, I've got the original winter front. I got the original bug screen. I've got the original owner's manual for the truck. So I've got a book where I can flip open and I can see everything I need to if I was to need to take something apart and replace it, which was fantastic because that's what the maintenance guys used to do at uh, Grogan's Plastic, which it's a different name now, I believe. I can't remember what it is now. But maybe somebody's watching that still keeps up with the truck and tracks it. Um... Because I know a couple, when I first started making YouTube videos and I put videos out about it, one of the guys, somebody commented and said, hey, this was our old truck, blah, 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 and Jesse James trucking. He, um, he actually said that he used to see this truck in the back of that place all the time and somebody else has got a hold of me and said that too. So they, this truck has been around and people have actually seen it before I owned it and started, you know, putting it out there and things like that. But um, yeah, it's just what it is little bit of a rant a little bit of a just a rave and just talking about the blue truck it's a good old truck yeah i'll um do this section right here i should be able to clean this up and get rid of these crap right here so i shouldn't have to worry about anything like that but you know yeah karis wheel that's what it was it was karis wheel after it was grogan's plastic but it sat in the back of this factory for so long sitting there over the side not being run or used um you know that it just it it got nasty it got ratty the paint was gross the wheels the tires were gross things like that and i'll put a picture of from when i bought it right up in here and you can see the difference and i still have the original virginia plate um that i keep on this truck that i run with it 96 was the last year it was stickered so I keep it on here. I've never had any problems with it being on here. Nobody's ever said anything to me about it being on here. Uh, I did have one guy ask me one time, why do you have it on there? When I first started running off the ramp, well, why do you have it on there? Why don't you take it off? I'm like, because it belongs out in here, dude. This truck is that, you know what I'm saying? That's where this truck originated from. 
Uh, I wouldn't mind doing a paint job on it someday, but it's not like it's going to happen anytime soon because I plan on working the thing. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back to the original plan that I had when I bought this truck. That's what's going to happen probably. So keep your eyes peeled for that and uh, stay tuned because you never know what's going to happen. And if you want to know what's going to happen, you're definitely going to have to stay tuned because if not, then you ain't going to know what's going to happen with the blue truck and me. Well, folks, that's that, and I am over it, man. Um, I pretty much hit every spot I needed to on this truck, except for the back. Like I said, I will do that, um, you know, when it comes to. But, yeah, that's not bad. All the stickers are completely removed besides my handle and my wife's handle on the other side. So there is nothing on here, period. Uh, it could use a new pinstripe, which I've got plenty of that red in the um, garage if I wanted to do that. That's just actual like you know vinyl but that top that top needs touched up and still need to do around those buckets which, which i can do off camera with my hand real quick but yeah it doesn't look too bad it looks a lot better than what it did and i guess that's all that matters right now to me um i still have not washed this truck since i started doing any of this stuff even though i said i was going to like next what i'll do is i'll move on to um some of the chrome lug nuts and things like that and uh the stacks and the tanks and then maybe i'll paint the um paint the rims and stuff the gray ones they seem fine they could use a little fresh but um the the white ones you know there's a couple spots here and there where you know it looks like she's a little bit old and may have been around a little bit and ain't a show truck because it ain't it's no workhorse and that's what it's going to do it's going to be back to an old workhorse uh, you're probably thinking, what are you going to do with that truck? It is going to sit there until I feel like doing something with it. Um, you know, there's a beer can rolling in a driveway. It's made me enough money to where it can sit there for a while. I don't even care. 
um, nobody wanted to buy it so it's what it is it um, isn't hurting me anything sitting there so it's what it is you know what I mean until we come back we're doing something else maybe we'll climb up in there and mess with that radio I still need to do that it is supposed to be cold and rainy for like the next week so maybe I'll climb up in there and attack that while I'm you know can't really do anything outside but hopefully sooner than later I'll be climbing in it and firing that thing up to um, use it to go make some money that'll be cool that'll be cool Get those ladders and stuff and put them up I, I like that bumper I think it looks a little bit better I would like to get a new one I know where I can get a new OEM I just don't think it'll have the uh, square cutouts it'll probably just have the hole which is fine um, I probably would have to drill the marks for the you know where the bolts go that one I would have to tap that one out because it's obviously broken off in there and who knows how hard that would even be to get those out of there to be honest with you so maybe one of those things we just leave go for a while um, don't need anything crooked like um, you know one truck was in that one picture when everybody started saying oh that bumper's crooked blah 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 who cares we're about your own stuff you know what I mean till next time you know what we say we will see ya